Hey guys, what's going on? Today's video is not sponsored by Cholula. However, we did reach out to them and they sent us this really cool hat. So, thanks Cholula. So today we're going to be working on taking out the heaters for our bus. And in order to do that, we have to cut out all of our coolant lines, which are attached to all three of our heaters. Basically how our system works is it starts under the hood where our coolant lines run from the radiator. They run into the bus into all three heaters where it flows back to the front of the bus and then it gets pumped into the engine where it does its thing through the engine and then gets put back into the radiator where it does the process all over again. So basically it's a closed loop system and today we're going to be working on shortening that loop so it's just under the hood and so basically it's just going to go from the radiator into the engine and then over and over again. So that's what we're going to be doing today and it's going to be very messy. So every bus is different guys so you really make sure that you look at your bus and make sure you have the right lines that you're going to cut off. So basically our bus works this way, our, where our coolant starts, there's a line that runs underneath all of this stuff and it ends up right here. It flows into the bus where then it goes through all three heaters that I was telling you about and then it comes back out into the bus, it flows through here where it eventually ends up in this coolant line and this coolant line goes into the engine. So basically what we're going to be doing today is cutting the coolant lines here and here and connecting them so they just flow into themselves. Another thing that you want to make sure of when you're doing this guys is that you want to shut off your coolant line so that it's not spilling any new coolant that's in the engine or in um, your coolant box itself or your coolant jug itself. Also guys, make sure that you are wearing something that you don't mind getting messy because you will get coolant all over your clothes. So for us guys, we have our overalls, which obviously you've seen us building in this whole time and we don't care how they look. So I'm currently in the back of the bus where our most rear heater is located. Um, we're going to start cutting the lines per periodically throughout the bus just to start getting the coolant lines kind of emptied out and drained. So these are two of our coolant lines that run into the back heater. So we're basically just going to cut into these and drain them and see how much coolant we can get out of them. And depending on what we see, we'll go from there. So we have this plastic covering over it. I'm just going to take that off to make the line easier to cut. Another thing, guys, that you want to keep in mind is a lot of the lines already have these ties on them. So if you have a really good tie, like we had a, one that wasn't rusted at all in the front of our bus um, that we could reuse. So we're going to reuse some of those to close the line off under the hood. It's a good thing we don't need these. I actually just, we just discovered a leak in our bus. It looks like someone tried to tape it closed, but you can actually see that it's leaking on the floor. So, good thing we don't need them. I haven't seen daylight in 23 years. Basically guys, our strategy that we're going with is to cut out all of the coolant lines first. Then we're going to start pulling out the heaters and unplugging any wires that we see that are still connected to the heaters. We're going to start attacking this line right now that's going from the back of our bus to the driver's seat heater. Um, in my opinion, I think this one's going to be pretty messy only because we can't control any of the coolant lines in this area because they're all flat. So whatever we cut, honestly, is just coming out onto the bus and we're going to have to clean that out later. Guys, so we cut all of the tubes up until this front part of the bus. We got all of them out. Basically now we're just going to do the last part of cutting the tubes, which is to cut this centerpiece off of this tube. cut too low so we're gonna have to readjust our plan but that's okay because we got a clean cut on here and basically what we're gonna do is cut into the plastic on the other end and basically clamp it on with one of these guys to make it really tight So 
we just attached this metal piece. It looks pretty tight on there. You can see where it's kind of pinching the rubber. We're gonna open up the coolant valves and see if we can see any leaks. Um, and also turn on the bus and see if there's any leaks because I think it will, it will flow more when the bus is on. So here we go. So that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps our channel out a lot. Feel free to give us a follow on Instagram, underscore Project Drift, and we'll see you next time.